Hey you guys, so this is the uh, teen uh, fairy necklace tutorial. So if you got your packs right here, um, inside the pack, it's not in this pack, you've got your little scratch off ticket. Uh, scratch that off and whatever is um, underneath that scratch off is the prize that you're going to win. Bring that back to the library next time or send it with your parent um, in order to redeem the small prizes that are in there. So let's get to it, let's open this up and I'll show you how this works. Okay guys, so here is everything that's going to be in your kit. This is a rather small kit because, you know, we're just making a necklace today. Or you can do a keychain or really anything you want to do. So inside this packet, you're going to have two different colors of glitter. You're going to have a chain for your necklace. This little guy is glue. You got your little slip of paper. And I don't have one in this pack. Um, don't forget the little scratch off that's in your kit uh, to redeem for some smaller prizes. So that will be in your bag, but not this one because I don't need a scratch off ticket. Okay, so remember if you are signed up for Beanstack, um, you have a code word to enter into Beanstack uh, to redeem your badges or you know your points. So. Your code word is on this little slip of paper that's in your kit. So basically fairy dust is hard to get. Those fairies are sneaking quick, but I managed. Keep it close and it'll come in handy for luck and a bit of magic when you need it most. Okay. Now if you are not signed up for the summer reading program yet, you're going to want to download an app. It is called Bean Stack. It is the bean you eat in the stack of books and it's all one word. From there, you're going to be able to track your reading to earn uh, ra uh, basically virtual raffle tickets for some really cool prizes at the end of the summer. You can sign up for the kits. Uh, also in the kits you're going to have these little scratch-offs that have some really fun little toys and prizes as well. So we'll be doing that for the rest of the summer and um, we could possibly just keep on doing it this way even after the summer reading program is over. So if you want these craft kits you need to get Beanstack, you need to get signed up with us so that you can register to get these craft kits. Okay, so let's begin. This little vial is made from glass, so be careful. Um, if you happen to get one and the glass is broken, bring it back to me and I can get you another little vial. So in the vial you got this little cork. You're just going to take the cork off. So you can either put the, um, the white glitter um, or just the color glitter or you can mix them and put them both in. Remember glitter gets everywhere and I'm pretty sure most parents don't like it in the house. I'm going to mix my color. I want to do both of them so I'm actually going to just put the green and mix it in this little baggie that has the white and then from there I'm just going to put it directly into my little glass vial. So I'm just going to pour in green and green just happens to be my favorite color. Okay, so I'm going to pour in a bit of green. I'm going to close this up and I'm just going to mix them all together. Ooh, I kind of like that a little bit better. It's a very light color green. So, now that I have those mixed together in one Ziploc, I am going to use the Ziploc to basically pour it into my little vial. Now, the amount of that you put in is all up to you. Um, I'm actually not going to fill it maybe half full because I want it to be able to shake around in the in the little vial a little bit. If you fill it all the way to the top, it's going to be completely packed and it's not going to shake or anything like that. And I just kind of like that as effect. So take your Ziploc baggie and do this so that you have a little pour spout right here and just carefully pour it in as best you can. Okay, there it goes. All right, so my vial is now about half full, and that's as much as I want to put. And look at that, you got a ton of leftover glitter. Parents, I'm sorry if the glitter gets all over your house. This happens to be fine glitter, and uh, it's very, very light, and it likes to travel. Okay, so once you have your glitter in your vial, you're going to open up your glue. This is basically just plain Elmer's. I'm hoping that the 
it works with the glass. Um, it's not very easy to get you guys um, epoxies or super glues because uh, you know you'd have to buy it for everybody. So take a little glue and you're just going to put a little bit on your cork. So basically what I'm doing is I'm tipping it to the side so that some of the glue kind of comes towards the end of my vial or my little my little pot uh, bucket here that's holding it. I'm putting my cork in there and I'm just sort of spinning it on that little dollop of glue. Now you don't want a lot of glue because you don't want the glue to mix in with your dust uh, because that'll just clump all your dust together in one big heap and you kind of don't want that. So go ahead, put a little glue on your cork. I'm just going to twist it a little bit as I am pushing it down. So I'm going to just push it down, kind of hard, but not so hard that you break the vial. And I'm going to leave this overnight. Now in order to make this a necklace, we have a couple of things in the bag. And I am very sorry about this. These were advertised as silver and they came as gold. <laughs> uh, so they kind of don't match the, um, the silver necklace very well. So um, I closed this up when I actually still need it. What you're going to want to do in order for this to not come out is you want to dip it in your glue and then screw it in really quick. So I am just going to bring my glue right up to the edge of the pot that this is in. I'm going to just put the screw part in the glue. I am going to hold the cork as I do this and all you do is just screw this in as straight as you can go. And it's, sometimes it's a little difficult to get it going because you have to let go. But just very slowly just twist this and it will start screwing itself in, go in a clockwise direction. Try to keep it as straight up and down as you possibly can until it's in there. Now what the glue is going to do is basically it's going to make it harder for this to twist itself loose over time. So get this down as far as you want it. So I'm going to keep it right about there. So you can see there it is. Now at this point you can either just take your, your necklace and just run it through the eye screw, which is what that's called. Um, you can also put this little guy on it if you wanted it to hang a little bit lower than your necklace, which is what I like. So, um, these aren't very strong and it does help if you have a pair of pliers while you're doing this. I'm going to try to do this with my hands uh, without the pliers so you can see that it is kind of, it is doable, it can be done. Alright, so now I'm going to just stretch this back the other way. and then use your fingers and kind of hold on to it and then just squeeze it back together so that it's closed. All right, and then there's that. And then the last part is just putting on your chain. Now this glue is still wet, but for purposes uh, I'm just going ahead. You can wait the next day uh, until you put uh, the chain on if you want your glue to be nice and set. So I'm just going to open this up, take one of these, the end out, put it on here, run it through that little circle without getting glue on myself. It's not, not easy. There we go. Oops. Come on there. there you go. All right. And there it is. So I'm not going to put this on quite yet because this has to sit for a day. And then there is your little fairy dust in a jar. You can also embellish this if you want. Put uh, a charm on your, uh, your chain if you like. Uh, you can do whatever you want with these. This is yours to keep. So there it is. Okay, you guys, have fun.